Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Canon Mind Fitness Online Training. This is your coach, Pablo. Welcome to S3, your stretch, strength, and sweat workout. Let's get into your guided flow. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, into your running warm up. I want you to find some space. It's about 25 to 30 feet worth of space, and we're going to do an active running warm up. So, first things first, we're going to come down to the ground, touch our toes. Walk it out, onto a plank, onto the toes, half plank, cobra, press up, your hands are underneath your shoulders, you're pressing up nice and tall, shoulders down, touch the toes, down dog, touch the opposite toe, plank, touch the opposite toe, walk it up, and repeat, walk it out, onto the toes, half plank, Cobra, touch the toes, down dog, touch the opposite toe, plank, touch the opposite toe, down dog, walk it up. And one more time, toes, half plank, cobra, get tall, touch the toes, down dog, touch the opposite toe, do a push up, touch the opposite toe, do a push up. Down dog, walk it up. Inhale back up. Reach. And turn around. And now we're gonna lunge. Lunge, squeeze the butt, engage those hips. Reach to the ceiling. Take another step. Squeeze, engage those hips. Feel that stretch in the front part of the hip flexors. Reach, reach, reach. You can even add a side twist. Next step. Again, squeeze the butt, engage. Reach to the ceiling, get tall. And again, squeeze, reach, and reset. Now, you're gonna go ahead and pull your leg up into a glute stretch, a standing figure four, and then you're gonna reach with that same side. So this is what it looks like. Here, boom, and then boom, and take a step. Boom, and boom. That's the stretch, glute stretch and quad stretch. Do that all the way through your 30 feet. Next one after that is gonna be a staggered walk. So, you're gonna stagger your feet. You're gonna separate them two to three inches. You're gonna stagger them so your toe box and your heel box will overlap but they're still separate. They're overlapped, but they're still separate. You're gonna stand tall. Send your hips back. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Both knees have a little bend. My feet stay on the ground the whole time. Then come up and stand, squeeze the butt. Then take a step. Overlap those feet. Separate them though. Hips back. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Come up and reset. And you're gonna do that all the way through your 30 feet. Then, you're gonna go into a toe walk. So you're gonna walk on your toes. So we're back here, walking on the toes. And the whole time you wanna stay on the toes as much as possible. On the toes, on the toes, on the toes. Then you're gonna walk back on the heels. So toes up, heels down, and walk. Then you're gonna go toes in, toes facing inward. That's working the internal rotation of your hips for the run. Make sure your knees and hips are ready. And then again, but now toes out, pointing towards the outside. And then high knees. Then opposite kick. Take a couple steps, kick, a couple steps, kick. Then side hurdles. You're gonna pretend like you have a hurdle. 
and cross that hurdle. And then reset. Cross that hurdle. Cross that hurdle. Reset. You're gonna do that all the way. Then you're gonna go back, facing the same side, working the other hip as the leading hip. Then you're gonna go into forward hurdles. So same thing, but now walking forward and hurdling forward. Then after you do your 30 feet, you're gonna hurdle backwards. Open up, go over the hurdle. Open up, over the hurdle. Open up, over the hurdle. Then, this is the last one, you're gonna go into just some synchronization work. So we wanna sync our arms and our legs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. As you work on your opposite arm, opposite leg, I want you to do like four to six laps or lengths of this practice and I'll show you what I mean. So we're here and we're just starting out. Opposite foot, opposite hand, opposite foot, opposite hand. And I'm just walking. And then I'm gonna increase my speed a little bit. Increase my speed, increase my speed. All right, now maybe a little jog. And we have it sinking. And we're thinking about hips to nips with the hands. All right, they're moving back and forth from hips to nips, from hips to nips, hips to nips, hips to nips, real simple. Think about having like a $100 bill in your hands, that way you have a nice soft grip. You don't wanna be too tight, you wanna just be a little bit looser with your hands, but you wanna be intentional with your swing of the arms. Remember, hips, nips, hips, nips, hips, nips. There couldn't be anything simple. Shout out to Coach Thomas Kipp in Gainesville, Florida for coming up with that one. Super useful to remember. So guys, that is your running warm up. Have fun, go out there and crush it. Make sure to have some sunscreen. If you're doing it during the day, carry some water or a flashlight or your phone. Have some fun and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for following along with us. We appreciate your time. We hope you enjoyed the workout. We hope that you let us know your score, if you liked it, how you liked it, and how we can improve for next time. Our goal is to keep you healthy at all times and keep improving alongside you. So please let us know how you like it. Post your scores on social media. Tell your friends about it. Health is incredibly important, especially in this time. So let's all get healthy together and keep each other accountable. See you in the next workout.